So, we just unloaded off the trailer. There it is. And we are heading out to get this Toyota. Got Chris with me today. Hi. So, we are going after this rig. We are, let's see, we left Moab. We drove 45 miles north west the Green River. And now we are at the moment, I think 10 miles southwest, south of Green River. And we got another eight miles to go. We're gonna cruise out here and get this Toyota that is apparently missing a wheel. This is the San Rafael River, which feeds into the Green River, which then dumps into the Colorado River and heads down to Powell. It's Utah, so they're pretty liberal on what they call a river. It looks like a creek to me. Not liberal, I guess generous is, is the right word, because, you know, whatever. So axle shaft snapped and then it walked out of the pressed on bearing right there and just went away. So we're going to have to pinch a brake line so that we don't expand that. Um, but first things first, I'm going to want to pick it up. So, so anyway, we're going to put this hitch in upside down here. And pick it up and try and keep it away from things. So, I would much rather have the new tow truck right now because it has the traditional sling on it. And I think it would be a better fit for this job. However, the new tow truck has a rod knock in the motor. And so I don't trust it to go very far until we get the new motor, which you guys will see very soon. Um, so we're bringing out old trusty because it just works. So we're gonna do this get this picked up So here we go on this just for the simple fact of I like redundancy so I'm redundant but straps and everything and get a hold of this keep it a set distance away Chris will be riding in it to run the brake so it doesn't swing into me we're gonna keep the motor off and the steering wheel locked so it tracks straight behind me um, of course we'll have the headsets and all that fun stuff but just get everything rigged up like I said this is not the best tow truck for this particular instance but it still gets the job done So oh, here we are, rigged up, ready to go. 
got the straps hooked up. Like I said, in this instance, it would be handy to not have to worry about this with a traditional wrecker sling down here holding the bumper a set distance away. But we're working towards it. Here's your headset, ma'am. Thank you. So, key off. Pull the key out. otherwise it'll unlock it so that way it's locked so the wheels can't turn and anything and so just apply brakes as i scream okay just kidding Okay. Still good. Ooh, close. On the trailer and the wind is blowing like crazy so I hope you can hear this um, having a traditional sling to hold the vehicle a set distance away would benefit in this instance which is why I'm building the new tow truck the new tow truck in no way is going to replace this truck you cannot replace this truck it does things no one else can do and I will stand behind that now um, in this instance, the, the new wrecker would have been better because I could have just picked it up and slung it and brought it back. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have got close, which we only got close. We never hit. The topper's perfectly fine. Everything's good. Usually you're picking it up from the front where there's not a giant square thing hanging there. So it's just every instance calls for something different. That's what the new wrecker is going to do. It's going to be for something different for this more traditional stuff on dirt roads, on easy trails where you want to run out and grab somebody and hold, being able to hold it a set distance away would be good. The A-frame that's on the other wrecker will not hold up off-road on these trails. 
I know everybody argues with me and tells me different. I've tried them. I have a pile of broken ones at the shop. It doesn't work. These straps are the only way to do it on an actual hard trail. Dirt roads, whole nother story. Anyway, it's been a fun little time, it's a quick little thing. I'm glad this happened so that I could do this video to show the whole reason of the new tr truck is not to replace this one. It's just an addition to my fleet. Anyway, thanks for watching.